The state legislature moving forward on several key issues today at the state house: the budget, common wage for workers, and drug testing for welfare recipients. Eyewitness News political reporter Kevin Rader joins us now here live in studio with the movement today at the state house. Kevin. And lawmakers have one statutory requirement for this long budget session of the General Assembly, adopt a budget. It did that today. A $31.5 billion budget over two years leaves just over or just under $2 billion in reserves. It increases school funding by 2.3% for both years, totaling $470 million. Still trying to discern how that plays out between urban and rural school districts with shrinking enrollments, still has to be determined. It allots $200 million for transportation highway projects, including additional lanes for I-70 and I-65, and completing the I-69 extension. And child welfare gets $7.5 million additional dollars to hire 100 new staffers. After a lengthy floor debate in the Senate, Republicans passed out the common construction wage repeal. Earlier this week, a few thousand Hoosiers showed up at the State House to demonstrate against that proposal. They believe it will open the door for low paying, poorly trained out of state contractors. Supporters argue it will save taxpayers 20% on the cost of building projects. In the end, the supermajority of Republicans carried the day 27 to 22. And last but certainly not least, Senate Bill 465, Human Services and Health Matters, passed 83 to 13. It deals with a myriad of issues, including an amendment just added yesterday requiring drug testing for welfare recipients. Now, all three of these bills will be headed to conference committee since there are big differences between the two bills that were passed out of the House and the Senate. So the season on those uh, committees start tomorrow. But most of the work in conference committee will be done next week. Yeah, a lot, lot you're keeping your eye oh, on there. Man, there is a lot. <laughs> All right, thank you, Kevin, tonight. Former New England Patriots tight end Aaron Hernandez will spend the rest of his life in prison.